let's take this one at a time, starting with Burrow. Um, he's got nine-inch hands, Todd. What do we make of this? <laughs> it's <laughs> funny. It's not funny. I actually I put some stock into the hand span. Okay. But what is funny to me is is that Jake Fromm had eight and seven eighths of an inch hand span. You know, measuring from the end of your pinky to the end of your thumb, and then you've got nine inches for Joe Burrow. And for some reason, we're going to look at those numbers and scouts are going to look at those numbers and say, Oh, eight and seven, eight. Once when you get in the eight category, you, I've legitimately gone back a 20 year, uh, 17 year study of, of combine results that I have 17 year study. There's not a single quarterback who had eight anywhere in the eight inch, um, you know, eight inch range for hand span that has had sustained success in the NFL, but nine inch, you know, there, there are some guys right, right at nine inches. So it, it's, it's one of those things. It's, it's a kind of the Mendoza line. It's a red flag number, whatever you want to say. Um, Joe Burrow, nine inches. There are, there are some guys that have had success. It is a little bit of concern in terms of ball control, but you watch, you watch him play and, and it was never really an issue. You know, I mean, he, there, there isn't anything that jumps out on tape in terms of throwing in the rain or protecting the football that really concerns you or, or jumps out when you when you evaluate him. So you have to kind of you have to look at both sides. You have to evaluate the tape versus the number. But that eight and seven eighths inches is different from nine inches, whether you like it or not. And it's a ridiculous thing to say because it's one eighth of an inch. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.